Hello, everybody. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show some, to show you guys something that I've been working on. Um, when I got the circuit, I was really excited because there is going to be an editor for it, and with version 1.4 and uh, the hard work from Isotonic, there was an editor so you can make your own sounds. But what I thought would be really cool is if you could have some some hardware to to be able to make your own sounds with. And I know there's a, a few templates that are going at, are around out there that allow you to edit the sounds from using the Launch Control XL. And I got a Launch Control XL recently for that purpose and uh, got the MIDI spec for it and started going through everything, programming this excitedly with the, the uh, template editor. And then I realized all the launch control does is send out CC messages. But most of what goes on inside the circuit are NRPN numbers. So I was a little bit disappointed, but then I thought I could just write a computer program that could take the CC messages that are coming from the Launch Control XL and translate those into NRPN control messages, and then you could get access to all the other things. So this is just kind of a proof of concept. I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it, and then uh, just do a little demo video of uh, this in action. It's, I've just started to scratch the surface with it. I'm actually only accessing four NRPN numbers. Uh, but this is the first template that I started out with. It has uh, eight of the oscillator controls for oscillator one. And then the second row is oscillator two. And then I have some of the voicing controls. This is portamento and portamento speed. And then right here are the, uh, the filter settings. So I have drive, drive type, filter frequency, resonance. And then this one right here is for the, the uh, filter envelope. So you can control, uh, well, like, like you do, the influence on the filter from the filter envelope. Down here I've set up, and again, these, these are all the CC messages. So down here I've set up the mixer, so this is oscillator 1, oscillator 2, noise source, and then this is the, um, the modulation sync right here. And then with uh, these four right here, this is the ADSR for the amplitude envelope. So we have attack, decay, sustain, release right here. But then down here, this is where it gets more interesting. Um, these three buttons right here control polyphony settings. This is full polyphony. This is uh, monophonic. And then this is um, where, where it, it puts both of the, all of the voices together. I forget what that one's called. And then right here I have this set up to send a MIDI message that is actually not part of the spec. It's MIDI message number 14 that it sends, and that's that's the CC message. And the program that I wrote that acts as a middleman for all of the messages that come through, when it gets that message, then it starts to translate all of these ADR, ADSR messages to the NRPN numbers for the filter envelope. So those are the four that this is controlling. And then below here on, on the last row, I have that set up to be one octave of the first scale that you get in the scales modes on the Novation circuit. So you get an octave for testing the sound so you know how it sounds. I have this circuit set up right now with, a, uh, with just an initial patch. Actually, it looks like I was just messing around with that. So now there's the, the initial patch. And 
that's just with oscillator one set with its vol its volume up. I'll put oscillator two up, and then I can detune those with these knobs. I'll detune this one a little bit down and that one a little bit up. Just make it a little bit fatter, and this I believe. Yeah, that's our density. And there's some virtual sync. Now again, all of these knobs right now are set up to be, uh, th those are the CC messages that anybody could set up with a template. I'm going to make this sound have just a little bit of release on the ADSR. Actually, that's a lot of release. That makes it sound a little bit more interesting. Okay, so there's the noise. This is the noise. This is the modulation. Okay, so now I'm going to switch this to the filter envelope. So now We have a little bit more interesting sound there. I'll give put the sustain on that up. Make that change over time. Let's give it some distortion. Or some filter drive, really. Now over here on the on the oscillators we can change through the, the different waveforms. Okay, so this one's set to monophonic. change the portamento like that. Now this knob I set up to be the octave, but I discovered that that CC message, message just changes the octave on the circuit. It doesn't really change the octave of the instrument, so I'm going to be switching this out for something more useful. I haven't decided what that'll be yet. So there's just a So there's just a, a quick demonstration of uh, just improvising, twisting some knobs. But um, what I plan to do with this, uh, since I figured out that you can start to have it translate different messages and send different ones, I'm going to start to utilize these buttons right here. And in my program, make that switch a knob row to do something different. So 
uh, this first row right here, this will be both oscillator 1 and oscillator 2. I'm going to do the filter here, and so you can get to all the parameters. It will do some switching with that button. And the last row is going to be the LFO, so you get access to all of that. And then I'm going to make a patch for it where it will be the initialized patch. I'm going to assign LFO1 and LFO2 to mod slots 1 and 2. And then the third envelope is going to be uh, on mod slot 3. So that will be something from this uh, template. You'll get access to all of that to make kind of like a traditional instrument goes, you have your LFO, or a traditional synthesizer, you have your LFO, and you have your your envelopes for controlling the modulation of the sound, and, and then you really don't have any other control except for maybe a mod wheel or something like that. So just straight from here, you'll be able to switch through all of those things and and change those parameters to begin with and then I'm going to start to add on the additional mod slots so you can change uh, maybe to another template so it utilizes all of the knobs for doing the mod slots and then you can maybe use the up and down arrows to go to the uh, the additional mods and then I'm going to do the same thing for the the knobs for the the circuit so you can get through to all of that stuff right there. So it's just kind of like a middleman program that works. One thing that I can't figure out how to do is to send a MIDI message back to the Launch Control XL and uh, change the colors because that would be a very good tool for knowing where you are in it. If you're in oscillator switching mode or if you're in the mod matrix mode, things like that. So if anybody knows how to do that, uh, that would be useful information to know. Uh, so you can put that in the comments below. But just wanted to share this really quickly. And uh, if you'd like to see more on this project or the other stuff that I do on the channel, uh, definitely subscribe and you'll see how this progresses. And I will be uh, making that the, the template that this, this works on and uh, the initial patches and the program will be available uh, when it's in, in a better state. I'm going to be doing some changes to it to, to make it so you can get to all the parameters or uh, all of the important parameters for making an instrument. There might be some left over to load up the isotonic editor and just do some fine tuning on your instrument. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to, uh, to like or subscribe. Have a good day.